Just a quick announcement before the video starts. Uh, me and Connor, Connor SF2, we're going to do a dual vlog and we're going to be doing a Q&A during it. So if you have any questions, uh, comment and check out Connor's video to also put some comments and we'll answer them together. Bloody hell, look at that light. Oh my god, fitted the uh, HID kit. Had a bit of trouble doing so, but look at that. That's mental. God, it's just so, such a nice sort of colour to it as well. I've just literally finished doing this light. So I'm just going out for a ride to try it out really. Oh yeah, if I do get a few funny looks, it is because I've got my Santa hat still on. Come on. I've got a feeling it is tilted quite low. I'm going to have to adjust that maybe. Now my friend did say be careful because it is so bright, people are going to think you've got your uh, high beam on. So do expect to be flashed a few times. At all. about being a holiday because no one's out on the road. Lights, they come in different sort of uh, colours or uh, temperatures I think they call it. This is 8k, there's 6k, 4, 2k and I think they do go past 8k but I think anything sort of more is just blue. It's not really um, a white light that you sort of need. So anyway, I have been meaning to do a video on like how I've installed these lights and my LEDs, but I just haven't really got around to it yet. Wow. Okay, I'm going to wait until I get into like an area where it's like pitch black, not the um, light around. Bloody hell, that's blinding. Right, so that's it. As you can see, I've still got that little light on the bottom. I thought I might as well keep it in there. Jesus. And then full beam. Prepare your eyes. Uh, doesn't look too bad. Not actually that much different. Full beam and indicator to compare. Yeah, definitely looks a lot better. Cool, let's go. I had a few people comment saying, are you still gonna you know, change your bike? Uh, are you getting a bit fed up of the four stroke? And the short answer is, yeah, I am planning on changing my bike. Um, I do like it, it is a you know, nice style, does everything I need it to really, but to be a bit more fun, a bit more enjoyable, I'm not saying this isn't, um, I think a two-stroke would be sort of the way to go. Now I've been talking to people and I think the thing that's best is just to leave it for now until sort of um, spring, maybe beginning of summer to actually decide and think about it a bit more. Because if this bike's working nicely now and that little sort of issue I had was uh, caused by the float and it's resolved now, then it's all good. Like I'll put the light on, put the LEDs, school the odds and sods that make it a little bit better than you know the standard bike. And it is. Not too not too bad to ride. Now another thing is that I got this bike at a decent price I think. Uh, for what it is, it's not too bad. Whereas a two stroke to get it in a good you know condition, it's gonna cost probably 1500 Whereas this was well, only like 950 say about a thousand for a really good condition bike. I saw a bike the other day, went to view it, and it was only £900, uh, the RS125, and sure it rode, it looked alright, um, ticked over fairly well, but it's just, you know, not in the best condition, not the sort of thing that I'm looking for. If I was sort of, as a, I'm not saying I'm not too able, but if I was a bit more confident with doing a bit of work, um, not necessarily engine wise because I'm fairly happy with that, like just cosmetics like doing re and doing a bit of wiring and stuff, then sure I'd go for all for that nice cheap RS125, but I'm 
I'm looking for a vibe that's all ready, all done, looks fairly good, you know, paintwork doesn't have to be perfect. I don't really mind on the age of the bike, possibly newer is a bit better. But as long as it goes, that's all I'm really worried about. 